Excited to be out here, man, for the first day. You know, um, we're back in um, our normal meeting spaces, which way excited for that. And so um, our uh, vaccination rate has gone up, up and up and up. And so um, excited to be back and excited to be in normal spaces. It's a big difference when you're in a room and, and uh, you've got the attention of everyone. They're all kind of focused in on you and you kind of feel it as opposed to uh, generally we're here and everything's spaced out to um, such a degree that it's, it's hard to keep that attention. So to start that way and then to have uh, great energy and, and, um, and execution in a practice, you know, it's the fourth time for these guys. So, it's, you know, winter, spring, summer, and now fall in terms of installs. And so um, a lot more confidence and carryover and all of it. So a good first day. You know, we're going to have to contend with the heat and um, be better in that space. But, uh, you know, day one in the books. Dave, is it a big difference from last year, first day this year compared to last? Yeah, yeah. You know, I think um, the confidence level across the board is stronger. I think we've got guys that have kind of um, matured and um, have um, um, uh, taken on leadership roles since that point. And I think, you know, going through all of that, I think, is a great history lesson of uh, the do's and the don'ts as well. And so it gives us a, a reference that way. But, uh, yeah, I think, you know, the, the t togetherness of the team, everything we went through in summertime, all the personal over player series and all of the, uh, uh, the personal talks and the, the, the family eats and gatherings and all of it, I think it matters when you hit the grass. Talk about when to play green. Were you all able to do that yeah, at an acceptable level for a first day with no pads on? There was a lot of that. I thought there was a lot of good things. I think, you know, towards the end of practice, I think, um, you know, uh, contending with the heat, contending with just, um, 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 you know, the amount, of, the amount of reps you're getting and all of it, I think, matters. And so I, um, we've got to be better there. But I think as a day one, you, you expect that somewhat. But... I thought you know the leadership on both sides was really good. You know, like a guy like Connor Galvin is out there leading, Ebner is out there leading, right? Um, and then on the other side, uh, having Terrell Bernard back playing, right? I think he's just naturally more comfortable talking when he's out there doing, and so you're hearing him. It's way cool to be a part of. Dave, as this quarterback race hits the stretch run per se, what do you want to see from all three of these candidates to help you and Jeff and the staff kind of make? lean in one direction or what's it, what's it going to take in your mind? No, I appreciate that. We want to see them be at their best when it's the hardest. And so when we get into competitive, stressful situations, we want to see them at their best. And so that may be crossing the bridge when we're practicing here and, um, you know, we're going to create pressure situations here, but now we cross, a, cross a, the bridge and we get to the stadium and the pressure ramps up there. It may be that. Uh, it may be um, um, competitive spots where the loser gets this, the, the winner gets that. All those things are coming at us um, and coming at them, and we want to see them rise to that occasion. Can you foresee any kind of scenario that you guys could get into a rotation into the season before you actually have to pick one, or do you want to avoid that? I'd like to avoid it. Dave, you said Tristan is becoming a vocal leader. He said that's a little bit out of his yeah. comfort zone. Are you seeing that, though, come? Yeah, you know, I thought, you know, I'm hearing, um, I think we're, it was the, it was early in the team period, and I'm hearing someone, like, uh, here I go, hey, bring the energy, play green. And I, and I go, no, that ain't him, really. And I look, and it was him. So that's cool, yeah. you know. You didn't hear that last year, so that's cool to hear. What's your philosophy as far as fall camp goes? Obviously, it's starting today. You've got one month until the season. How do you go about sort of ramping it up and then getting to a point where you start to make concrete decisions on it? Yeah, I think it's spending the time on individual and fundamental work and getting to the, the spot where you can do simple better. And so it's getting people to have ownership of those things because I think, you know, there's it's one thing to understand in a meeting. It's another thing to do it well in a drill. And it's yet still another to do something in a walkthrough. But to do it when it matters, to do it when it's tough, that is when there's a mastery of it. And we've talked a lot about with our players about uh, them really knowing who they are and what they're about and calling upon those values so that when there is a craft, when there is football in front of them, they can do it well 
so that they can express who they are. And, you know, I think when you get to that point, man, you know, you, uh, re you um, reimagine what that position looks like, right, and what the standard for that position is. And um, I think we've got guys that are in that space that can take that step. So at cert for certain levels, it's that. For others, it's guys that um, are looking to, to kind of get their footing. Similar to what we talked about, the difference from last year to this year with certain guys that have got both feet in the ground, right? They know who they are and they can speak in a confident manner because uh, they're not worried about impressing anybody. They, they, they know who they are. There's a, other guys we've got to do. We've got to get that group up. But I think all that comes with doing, you know, and um, doing, the, doing the hard things particularly. If there's one thing that stood out to you from the race practice, what, what is it? I thought the t t togetherness of the team. I thought there, um, you know, th there was hard things out there, and I thought there's a lot of people uh, picking people up. I thought there was a lot of uh, positive talk, and those have been things that we've been working on, and so it was really good to see. Dave, do you pay much attention to the realignment? You just see that maybe something out of your hands? How do you kind of look at that? Yeah, I saw that in the summertime. So it was, um, it was uh, you know, here we go with another thing. You know, I, I, I came back and our guys were lifting. And um, I'm walking through the lifting groups and I'm talking to them and, um, you know, and I'm asking, how much is this a thing? Are guys talking about this thing? And guys didn't even know what it was, didn't even know that it happened, which I figured it was that. I figured it was that way, just knowing our team. And so it's continued to stay on that track. They're so focused on um, um, what they're doing and what's right in front of them. And I appreciate that, that piece because that would yet be another battle, but uh, I think we're ahead of it on that one. Dave, a lot of it happened before you got here, but can you appreciate Jalen Petrie's story? And, and he's a lot more than a story, isn't he, too? I mean, just like turned into a great player he is you know so we had so yesterday um we had our whole athletic or really as many people as we could our athletic administration up in here and so we had our football team and then we had our um, our athletic administration student trainers uh, learning specialists doctors um uh you name it compliance was up here right ticketing office was up here um, uh, nutrition, everybody. So there's over 200 people. So it's crazy when you think about everyone that's, um, that's working for you and everybody that's, um, that's backing you, right? And I think we had a lot of players after that just go, you know, I, I didn't know there's so much. Um, I, I knew some of these people, but I didn't know all of them. These are people that, um, that have been here for four years saying that, you know? And so it's pretty cool to see that. Now, in the process of all of that, you know, the person that was brought out to me the most from our administrative uh, people that were, that were with us was Petrie. Because there was, you know, our guys would go up and introduce our team, would introduce themselves and everything. And the guy that would give them a fist bump or the guy that would, you know, um, uh, tap them on the shoulder as they walked by was Jalen. And so I think his, um, he holds a place on this team that's really strong. He's earned it um, for what he's done on the field, but more for who he is. David, David, you just mentioned. feel to be out on a football field today. Really good. Yeah, really good. I think it's, it, it's good to see the team run plays. It's good to see guys take ownership. You know, it's good to see things that maybe we were struggling with in spring that um, maybe there was an understanding of it, but like we talked about, when things break down or, you know, if, if everything happened right in spring, we got it. But if one thing didn't go right, which generally it would not, as if something's new, it would all fall apart. And so that batting percentage can be not very good. But to come back and then to have that same play and something don't go right, but now we're, we can improvise and now we're connected. And now this player's thinking the same as this player and now we connect on a thing. It's way cool to see. And so there's a lot more of that to do, but Dave, it's good to be able to do it. No. It's your second year. Do you, you don't change who you are. You've made that clear, but are you more vocal this second year around in practice. I, I know things have changed compared to last year as far as what you are and how you're practicing. But do you feel like you feel more vocal in any way? No, I think no. I think the, the players probably have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. It's, it might, might be a thing, but I don't really, I don't feel, um, if anything, I feel um, 
possibly not talking as much because um, a lot of times now, if the relationship's right, it may just be a look and they get it. Dave, you mentioned the vaccination rates. Are, are they close to where you want them to be? Are they pretty high on the team? Or? They're, they're getting better and better. And so, you know, there was, there's a lot of summer uh, for me and for various others, uh, talking on the phone, having conversations, trying to get people connected with doctors, um, you know, going through kind of the latest, um, you know, good and bad with all that. And, um, and um, I thought, you know, what an opportunity to really uh, make a connection outside of football. And um, with everything, you know, I think, there's a whole lot to all of that, but I think to recognize that, uh, you know, it's, it's a personal choice and to, uh, to when it gets to um, um, tough, uh, tough times to honor that, I think there's, mer there's, there's a confidence that is built between two people when that happens. And so I think that was happening in summer, but then once we got here and football was around the corner, I think it, a lot of it kind of ramped up. And so, um, you know, um, we'll see. I feel I feel the numbers are, are going uh, going north though. So. Time for one more. Do you have a percentage that you want, or I mean? It's we... it's getting where we want it. Yeah, so it's getting there. Is the is the offense along with that plain green? Is the offense made strides even like the summer from where they were in the spring? Yeah, you know, there was a couple of runs today where guys were running off the ball. Guys were getting to the second level, covering guys up. Running backs were, were sticking their foot in the ground and going. Really cool to see. And I think, you know, there's times last year where you would maybe get one of those and not the other. Or maybe if things were in bad spots, you wouldn't get any. But we got a lot of that today. And so I think there's a, there's a real strong ownership and a really, really strong want to from those guys. And so uh, it's, it'll, be, it'll be good to see their improvement.